Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Dear brethren, since the beginning of Lent until now, we have prepared our hearts by penance and charitable works. Today we gather to herald with the whole church the beginning of the celebration of the Lord's Paschal Mystery, that is to say, of his Passion and Resurrection. For it was to accomplish this mystery that he entered his own city of Jerusalem. Therefore, with all faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entry into the city for our salvation, following in his footsteps, so that being made by his grace partakers of the cross, we may have a share also in his resurrection and in his life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, sanctify these branches with your blessing, that we who follow Christ the King in exaltation may reach the eternal Jerusalem through him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When the great crowd that had come, came to the feast heard that Jesus Christ was coming to Jerusalem, they took palm branches and went out to meet him, and cried out, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Jesus feared Jesus found on an ass and sat upon it as it is written, Fear no more, O daughter Zion. See your, your king come seated upon an ass's colt. His disciples did not understand this at first, but when Jesus had been glorified, they remembered that these things were written down about him and that they had done this for him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brethren, like the crowds who acclaim Jesus in Jerusalem, let us go forth in peace. <laughs> Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering, and so merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled. I have not turned back. 
I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheek to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? All who see me deride me, they curl their lips, they toss their heads, he trusted in reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance, he humbled himself becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. As soon as morning came, the chief priests with the elders and scribes, that is the whole Sanhedrin, held a council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate questioned him. Are you the king of the Jews? He said to him in reply, You say so. The chief priests accused him of many things. Again, Pilate questioned him. Have you no answer? See how many things they accuse you of? Jesus gave no further answer, so that Pilate was amazed. Now on the occasion of the feast, he used to release to them one prisoner whom they requested. 
a man called Barabbas, was then in prison, along with the rebels who had committed murder in the rebellion. The crowd came forward and began to ask him to do for them as he was ac accustomed. Pilate answered, Do you want me to release you to the king of the Jews? For he knew that it was out of envy the chief priest had handed him over. But the chief priest stirred up the crowd to have him release Barabbas for them and said, Pilate said again, again said to them in reply, Then what do you want me to do with the man you call the king of the Jews? They shouted again, Crucify him. Pilate said to them, Why? What evil has he done? They only shouted louder. Crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to sa satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas to them, and after he had Jesus scourged, handed him over to be crucified. The soldiers led him, led him away inside the palace. That is the paratorium, and assembled the whole cohort. They clothed him in purple and weaving a crown of thorns placed it on him. They began to salute him with all hail the king of the Jews and kept striking his head with a reed and, spi and spiting upon him. They knelt before him in homage and when they mocked him they stripped him of, his, of the purple cloak, dressed him in his own clothes and led him out to crucify him. They pressed into service a passerby Simon, Simon, a Caesarean, who was coming in from the country, the father Alexand Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. They brought him to the palace of Gogopha, which is translated place of the skull. They gave him wine, drugged him with myr myrrh, but he did not take it. Then they crucified they crucified him and divided the garments by casting lots for them to see what each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. With him, they crucified two revolutionaries, one on his right and one on his left. Those passing by, Revel him, shaking their heads and saying, Aha, you who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself by coming down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests with the scars mocking him among themselves and said, He saved others, he cannot save himself. Let the Christ, the King of Israel, come down now from the cross, that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also kept abusing him. At noon, darkness came over the, the whole land until three in the afternoon, and at three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama shabbatani, which, trans, which is translated, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders who heard it look, said, Look, he is calling Elijah. One of them ran, soaked a sponge with wine, put it in a reed, and gave it to him, drink, to him drinking, saying, Wait, let us see if Elijah comes to take him down. Jesus gave out a loud cry and, bre and breathed his last. The veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. Bottom, when the centurion who stood facing him saw how he breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God the Father sent his Son, Jesus, to bring unity to the human race through suffering and death. Let us offer our prayers for the whole world. That all Christians may embrace the joy of this Holy Week with commitment, with commitment to repent of past sins and to strive for holiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That church leaders may proclaim with courage and conviction the gospel of Christ crucified. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders may reflect the sovereignty of Christ as they work to eliminate unnecessary suffering from their countries. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the crucifix of Christ for all people may teach us that there is no such things as a worthless life or a person God does not love. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, that those preparing to enter the church this Easter may be protected from evil and grow in holiness. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, that those who have died may find everlasting joy in the Father's kingdom. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you allowed your Son to suffer for the salvation of the world. As you answer our prayers, give us grace to follow the example of Jesus, for he is Lord forever and ever. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that through we do not merit it by your own deeds, yet by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For though he, though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust commendation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins and his resurrection has purchased our justification. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim.
holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the, his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Francois, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with the men in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son, you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection you may lead us to where you call, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass has ended. Thanks be to God.